in this uh, PlaySafe 100 application, I would like to accomplish two things. Uh, first, you can see that uh, instead of the regular wheel for the dog bot, I actually change it to a four bar linkage to make it a, a walking four legged bot. Uh, Robotics bot have plenty of spare parts, so you can just find them and uh, build them up. So I'm going to rotate around so you can see where how things are located. Okay. One important thing is to make sure that it started uh, at about right and left side about 180 degree kind of face each other and then it will best that way. And let's go down this side a bit better. You can see this side is down and this side is more up. So it can will shift the weight. Okay, it's hooked up. So remember uh, scratch is connected. Okay. And then the scratch code is here. So the scratch code, the main program is this part. You can see I switch a costume to this one and then play some music and say I'm a moody fellow and then this important logic here, set all of the sound detector count to zero, clear it out, and then say whatever is found to collapse. And then this code repeat until is important. Essentially, it basically after this code run, and everything say quiet, it just keep on repeating this one until you hear some clapping. If you uh, clap once, and then it broadcast friendly and then wait until that thread is finished. If it's here too, and then broadcast angry and wait. Okay. They so clap free. Now they, we didn't take care of that case, so it's just gonna zoom back into the forever loop here. Okay, let's save it here friendly. And switch to uh Friendly dog, which is little puppy, it's a, a friendly dog, and then a similar piece of code again because you have to read the center IR sensor IR here. Save to parameter sensor, and as long as you didn't stick your hand close enough to the bar, it won't do anything. It keep on doing this repeat loop. If you get close enough, you play the small dog barking, and then essentially run power. Uh, your hand forward for two seconds and then it just uh, sit there for five seconds and switch the costume back to the dark bot to this one. See it change to that one when it's friendly. If you're angry, similar thing. You just switch to different dog. Angry and grace to tell you to stay away from it. And the code is about the same. So if you slow down the video, uh, stop it. You can see all the code. Let me make sure I turn it all off. And let's see what it does. So let me zoom out so that you can see which code is being activated. So I click on the green flag bar. See it here, the original music. You see this one is highlighted. Now just sit here and wait. And you can see the dog doesn't do anything. So you're going to see some changes in here, depending on whether I push one clap or two clap, one of the threads down here will be highlighted. So let's tie with one clap. You see it's highlighted here, show I'm a friendly dog. Put the hand in there. And 
Okay. So you see his backing, his puppy finish and coming back and say, I'm a moody fella. So if I hear two clap now. So it's angry, angry, stay away from me. So that's the angry time. This show is growling and then there. So let's say it's gonna ask me clap three times. See nothing happened. What happened if I have one time, it goes there and then I clap two times. So you get stuck. It will finish the one clap situation or case first before it uh, will do anything again. So now. So that's the lead up. And then it will clear out. You see clear out or reset back to the D mode. That's default mode. Two, we went to the angry. So hopefully he's a good dog growling and all of that there. Okay.